Welcome to Cookie Closeout. It's the show that allows true cookie managers to choose the best option. Hi, everybody. I'm your host, Alexa Trefoil, and today I'm here with leader Nancy. Nancy, are you ready to learn more about what your options are to close out your troops cookie program? Oh, Alexa, I'm just so excited to be here. I've watched this show for a long time. I'm so ready for this. Great. Then let's go ahead and take a look behind door number one. Nancy, if you choose option number one, then your troop is done with the cookie program. This means that all of your cookies have been sold, everything is allocated among the girls in your troop, and all of your rewards have been selected in eBuddy. Nancy, this is a great option if your troop is done and ready to move on from cookies. Oh, this does seem like a good choice, but I just don't know. I'm curious to see what's behind door number two. Of course. Let's learn more about option number two. Nancy, option number two for closing out your cookie program means that you're not quite ready to be done with selling. You probably have cookies left over, but your girls have big goals and plans for those proceeds, so they aren't quite ready to give up just yet. Should you choose this option, you will still need to allocate all cookies in eBuddy by April 24th, even those ones that aren't sold so that the girls can earn those rewards. Your troop can continue to sell safely either virtually now or once restrictions are lifted. All balances due to council will still be withdrawn at their scheduled times, but the troop can keep selling using Clover Go or other means to accept payment into your troop account. Nancy, this is a great option for troops who have a certain per girl average that they want to hit, specific rewards that the girls want to earn, or plans for those proceeds. So Nancy, what do you think about option number two? Ooh, that is a great choice. I definitely want to run this one by my girls, but Alexa, I'm interested in hearing about that last choice behind door number three. Of course, Nancy. We want you to be fully informed before you make a decision. So let's take a look behind the last door. Option number three is a great option for troops that have cookies left over due to the cookie program being cut short because of COVID-19. These troops have exhausted all means of trying to sell their unsold inventory and are just ready to be done. All sold cookies will need to be allocated in eBuddy, so then that remaining difference, as shown in eBuddy, will be removed from their inventory, therefore removing all financial burden from the troop. This option could potentially affect the troop's per girl average numbers as well as some reward options, so keep that in mind. So there you have it, Nancy. There are your options on Cookie Closeout. We encourage you to take some time to discuss with your girls and make the best selection for your troop. Whatever you choose, make sure that you do so through the Cookie Closeout survey in the eBuddy News email or located in the Cookie Program Updates tab at gswo.org slash cookie resources. Your survey, along with all allocations, reward choices, and any financial concerns paperwork will need to be completed by 11.59 p.m. on April 24th. This has been such a thrill, Alexa. I'm going to check in with the girls in my troop, review all of these options, and I'll be sure to complete the cookie closeout survey by April 24th. Thank you so much for having me on. And there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching another exciting episode of Cookie Closeout. Tune in next time as you prepare for the 2021 Cookie Program.